Hi and welcome to my Java Net Bean working with B decimal tutorial. In this tutorial, the whole idea is to calculate the surface of a spherical object and the result to end up with up to de uh, 20 decimal places. So, supposing I entered my radius of the object itself and I click on this, I ended up that's the area of this object itself. So if you notice I ended up with approximately, not approximately sorry, I ended up with 20 decimal places if you count it, this is 4, another 4 here, another 4, 12, another 4 and all together that is 20, 20 decimal places. If you, supposing we decide to use something like double, double will only give us approximately maybe 14 decimal places but with the big decimal we can always specify how many decimal places we want okay now let me take you straight into the code and you guys see how to put together big decimal okay now what i did first is i actually imported big decimal look at it right there you have to import java dot mass dot big decimal itself okay I have not really used this, but uh, these I've used. Yeah, I can always comment that out. So Java dot math dot the big decimal is used, and I've also used my first number right there. Second number I didn't use it in this case. Maybe when I write another program, I might end up using it. Okay, and here I have first number, whatever value I enter into jtex field is assigned into first number right there and now i've now declared my pi and those these are the value for the pi okay as a new desk as a new big decimal and whatever I enter in the text box is uh, that is assigned to first number is then assigned into radius and radius is then radius equals point multiply radius in this case what will happen is we're talking about multiplying the radius by itself and get the exponential value that's what's going to happen here then uh, everything is actually assigned into the big decimal itself if you notice here i have string answer there why because the surface area I have to convert it into a string and assign it and show the output in java text field java text field only accept string value so that's why i've done that so if i run this program again let me save compile and run it now enter whatever the value of this radius might be in there just click on big decimal can you guys see that that's 20 decimal places and i can even change the number of decimal that i want there supposing i say 50 that's a long one we cannot do it do that with any other data type okay you see that guys so that means i even have to extend my text field right there so that's how you use big decimal okay i suppose you guys get the whole idea but supposing you want to start a new project using java net Bean, all you need to do is go to file right there new project okay make sure you select java application click on next give it a name i'm going to call it big d or big des right there make sure the class is unchecked click finish okay i have my new program in there if i come to all I just need to do next is right click on it new J frame select J frame there okay call that big underscore this right there and the package I can just call that the same thing big this with an X okay click on finish so what happened is I ended up with this. So all I just need to do now is add a couple of components onto it. Just to make it look like the previous one you guys just saw. So I need label here. I need another label here. I need a text field right here. A bigger text field there. 
and a command button right there let's go for where's the button right there okay so i'm just going to speed the development of this up and get back to you guys okay this is how the program is looking right now the first thing i'll do, have to do is to uh, to enter as follows just right underneath here i have to import as follows so let's import say java dot math dot big decimal right there that's it double click and that's it so enter a semicolon there so the next thing is let me go to design view right here double click on the design view double click on the button itself sorry that's the button right there double click on it and right in there I will enter as follows so big decimal pi equals new decimal then I will enter by pi number right there dot I have actually completed my pi number right there that's it but there's one thing I need to do right here I need to declare a variable double first number okay that's the first number right there so it's come right here right here just state what first number will be that is my text box right there this very text box so let's see the name of that text box it's actually text box one so let's change that to one this one change it to one and the next thing is to enter as follows so that is just oh those are the the okay right here guys these are the lines of code that will be used to calculate the surface area of spherical objects okay so all I just need to do now is run the program and see what will happen. So save it, compile, and let's run it. Uh, just before we run it, I think there's an error. I should correct this fast. This is supposed to be two. So if I run, compile again, save, compile, run, and right here, suppose I enter as follows as my radius, and that's it. That's the that's my number. I know you guys cannot see it, so let me come down here. I have this as 40. Let me change the size of the decimal number. Let me change that to about 20. Now, I should have compiled. Let's close that and recompile. Yeah, run it. And right here, enter the radius and just click. You can see that is the area of the surface as you can see notice that that's 4 8 12 16 and 20 so depend on how many decimal places you want that is the whole idea of a big decimal big decimal just give you the amount of decimal decimal places that you specify so with that i'm just going to call it the end of this program i suppose you guys enjoy it and uh, if you like you can always email me and i'll forward the codes to you guys so you all have a nice day now